Hi everyone, welcome back to my DIY home with Liz. In today's video, we're doing a Dollar Tree DIY. Today's Dollar Tree DIY is going to be a big wall art piece and it's perfect for spring. So to complete this project, you wanna pick up four of the garden fences that they sell at Dollar Tree. So what you're going to do with the fences is you're going to cut off the extra pieces to it. So I'm cutting off the stakes at the bottom and then I'm also cutting off the side pieces. Make sure you have a nice pair of scissors that will really cut through this, but you should be able to take these off with the scissors. Next, I'm going to take my four fence pieces and I'm going to turn them facing in so that they make a nice long piece. Next, I'm going to take hot glue and hot glue all of the pieces together. To make it a little bit more stable, I'll just turn it over on the back side and use a couple of popsicle sticks in the middle and hold that down with some hot glue. This will help to make it a lot more stable. I wanted this piece to have kind of a worn, distressed look because I plan on putting it on my old white door in my bathroom. So to do that, I picked up a couple of paints that I had. I have black, gray, cream, and brown. And I'm just going to use the same brush because I want this to look very distressed and worn. And I'm just going to put this paint on my fence just in a random pattern, not very thick, just kind of dry brush it on. Okay, then with your fence, you just wanna let that dry. And now we're going to move on to the wreaths. So I picked up three of these small wreaths that they sell at Dollar Tree. And I got the lighter ones. You could always get the darker ones if you prefer that, but I have these on hand, so that's what I'm using. And I'm just gonna be using my Waverly White Chalk Paints, and I'm gonna be lightly brushing the white on the front of my wreath forms. I'm only doing one coat, and I'm not even concerned about covering the whole wreath. I want it to look a little bit distressed as well. Next, I have the sticker that says grateful, thankful, and blessed. And I want to put that on each of my three wreath forms. So I picked up a sheet of scrapbooking paper from Hobby Lobby, and they always have their paper on sale, so it's a great place to get it. So you only need one piece of scrapbook paper for this sign. So I'm going to measure down three and a half inches and I'm going to do that two more times and that'll be enough for all three signs. So then I'm just going to draw the lines across on the paper. And then I will just cut out the paper. From there, I'm going to trim the edges of my sign so that they make a nice triangle. I'm not gonna measure this, just do it, eyeball it, and it'll be fine. From there, I'm going to put one sticker on each of my signs. Now there's lots of ways that you could add this to your wreath. The way that I'm liking lately is to lift up one of the wood branches and then just stick the sign underneath. It will crinkle your paper a little bit, but I kind of like that look. I think it looks more like fabric and a little bit more realistic. You guys, I have been loving this lavender from Walmart. I can't get enough of it. They sell it at Walmart, it's 97 cents. So I decided I wanted to add 
add that to the bottom of each of my wreaths. So all I'm going to do is just cut off a little sprig of it and hot glue it on either side. And then to finish it off in the middle, I'm just going to take a little bit of twine, tie it in a bow, and then hot glue that to the center of the lavender. So now you're just gonna repeat those same steps on your next two wreath forms. Once you get all three of the wreaths done, then you're going to position them onto the fences. I just kind of spread them out so they were evenly dispersed. And then you want to hot glue the wreaths in place. Now, the great thing about this piece is it's not very heavy. You could hang it up with command strips. I just hung it from a nail on this door that I have in my half bath, and I think it looks super rustic. What do you guys think? If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I post three to four DIY tutorials each week. If you guys missed our last Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna link it right here so you can go watch that video next. And I'll talk to you guys in our next video. Bye.